So who is the man in the middle? Somebody made a comment, made me think about this message. Who is the man in the middle? Who is the man in the middle? The God man, Jesus, the letter I, the letter J. The letter I and the letter J come from the same root. They just broke off for different reasons, for different sounds. So all the languages and all the letters and all the phonics, they all point back to a deep spiritual truth of creation. That's why I call it the creation code. So the creation code gives you a big hint. So the letter C is usually in the middle of a word a lot of times. Not all the time, but sometimes at the front, you know. The letter G is in the middle of a middle of a word a lot of times. C is agape. G is Golgotha. It is finished. The letter T is the cross. It's in the middle of a word a lot of times. So you see the man in the middle, what he did at the cross. Just type in E C C E. C C is 33. E is spirit on the left hand side and on the right hand side. 33 is the age that he went to the cross. The man in the middle. Who is the man in the middle? Jesus. What's the middle? It's in the midst. M I D S T. S T S T is the snake on the cross. Mid is middle. The middle. The joint, the, the person who joins man with God. There's one mediator between God and man, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's in the middle. Interceding. Interceding. Notice the word interceding. It sounds like seed. The phonics works too. He is the seed. That all things develop from. So right now I'm going down the highway in my car. What's in the middle? Between the road and myself. Well, you got tires. You got air in the tire. You got axles. You got a seat. You got a cushion. You got a body, a frame. So if you take all those things that are in the middle between the between the earth, the the concrete. So the tire represents tear, which is the flesh. The air in the tire, the joint air, is the spirit. Then the frame, God had framed it out, uh, a plan. He had a plan framed out. The body points back to the body of Christ. The seat, he sat down, it is finished. Seat, you're seated in the heavenlies in Christ. The nuts and the bolts and all the uh, attachments to hold everything together point back to Jesus. The seat points back to Jesus. The heirs, joint heirs, that points back to Jesus. The windshield wipers point. See, everything that you're doing in the 3D has a spiritual meaning. So when you wash your clothes, it's because you're being washed. When you build a house, because your house is being built, you're a fitly framed together spiritual house. So everything that you're doing in the 3D is being done in the 5D. That's why you can only do, that's why you do stuff in 3D, because it first started in the 5D, the spirit realm. The letter, the number of five is the letter E, and E is spirit. So the spirit realm was first, the natural realm came second. God created the heaven and the earth. Heaven is higher education academy. Right down here in the earth plane, you're in the uh, training program, it's the kind of lower education. It's the, uh, 
the earth plane, back to the middle, back to the middle part. What's in the middle of your body? The heart? Think about the apple of God's eye, or Israel in the middle. You got the east and the west, you got the middle. What else is in the middle of your body? Reproduction, reproduce, produce, product, copies, image. The image, man is made in God's image. You're made in the image of God. See, when you rub shoulders with these lost people, they have no idea what you're talking about. They can be narcissist teachers all day long, but they are the worst narcissists because they, did, they reject God. If they reject God and they're a narcissist, uh, teacher now think about that they reject God Almighty they are the worst narcissists out there because they think they got the information without God but God is using them to wake up the saints that this is an evil place because a lot of saints still believe this is a the American dream I notice a lot of work I'm doing I can see the promised land but I can't seem to attain it every time I get one step closer, something else happens. That's because this is not heaven on earth. I'm going to just keep focusing on it. I feel like I've already hit the promised land in a way just because I have the vision. The vision, V-I is right, Scion. Without a vision, the people perish, right? V-I is to right. Just do a Google search. Any word, any any combination of words or any word, just do a Google search and you'll see you'll see the pattern up here. Because every it's a hologram. Hologram means the story was written by the hand of one person, completely written by the hand of one person. Who wrote that? Jesus wrote it. And so it's a holographic projection from the cross. So every moment of every day is a projection. So it's so the truth is encoded in the words, the phonics, the language, the shapes, the symbols, the the sounds, everything, your body, these cars, every the truth is encoded everywhere. No matter what man does, he has to preach Jesus, whether he likes it or not. Whether he's saved or not. Everything that he builds is because it's based on a biblical truth of what Jesus did at the cross. So all inventions point back to Jesus. All Ideas pointing back to Jesus. Imagination is image birthing, made in his image. If you start to use your imagination, you can birth anything. If you step away from 3D and you start stick, st step into 5D, which is your imagination, you can birth anything, image birthing. What you would think upon is already birthing right now. Everything that you are the, the situation that you're living in is because you imagined it. Fear is an imagination. Faith is imagination. You have faith. You're going to heaven. You have faith in Jesus. It's an image in your mind. The devil's trying to steal your faith. But once you're saved, you're always saved. Once saved, always saved. Eternal life. I don't even care about using once saved, always saved. All I can hear, but it's the same thing as eternal life. Once you have eternal life, it's eternal. It's not temporary. People say, oh, you can lose your salvation. Get out of my face. I don't want to face off with somebody like that. You can't lose your salvation because... You have eternal life, and eternal life is eternal, not temporary. You're trying to change reality, trying to change the definition of words. See, when they try to change the definition of words, and the etymology points back to the word, the logos, it tells you what they are. They're agents. They're agents of the devil. Change a word is like trying to change the universe. Who controls the alphabet? God. Who controls the languages? God. That's in Genesis. He came down and split the languages up because they were trying to build the Tower of Babel. That's kind of why I'm not even worried about doing... I, I want to do the Creation Code book, but I'm afraid 
that if you show the code to the lost and the lost grab it, they can do anything because the code reveals everything. The language reveals everything. That's why Jesus, that's why God split the language in Genesis because they could do anything. When you break the words into parts, what are you doing? You're doing the same thing that they're doing at CERN. They're breaking the particles into parts to see what the... And you're doing the same thing as a mathematician. But the, the reality is the mathematician needs words to explain its, its, its work. The particle physicists, they need words to explain their stuff. So the words are the root, are the, root the source. And so if you get a piece of paper and you write it down with a piece of paper and pencil, you write down words and you break them into parts and you Google it and you, you, you meditate on it, it starts to reveal itself, the source code. And then you can start to see outside of time, you can see, see outside of space, you can see the holographic fractal reality that everything's connected back to source and everything flows from source, spirals out from source and so you're eating and drinking of Christ every time you speak, every time you eat, every time you think, everything that you do spirals out from source. So source is working through you. It's from him, through him, and to him. And so he's working through you, for you. Every time you speak, if it's in the spirit walk, God is speaking through you. If it's in the flesh walk, it's, just, it's nothing nothing but the devil the flesh mind the old Adam it's the, the AI program if you're speaking in the flesh it's the AI program it's just a program it's not from source 